Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 444. What is Acute Inflammatory Demyelinating Polyradiculopathy? Acute Inflammatory Demyelinating Polyradiculopathy is the most common variant of Guillain-Barre syndrome. It's an autoimmune condition that destroys the Schwann cells and this leads to inflammation and demyelination of the peripheral nerves and motor fibers. What is the end result of acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy? The end result is systemic ascending muscle weakness and paralysis beginning in the lower extremities and moving upwards. This condition also results in facial paralysis in 50% of the cases. What type of functions are severely affected in acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy? In acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy, autonomic functions may be severely affected and this results in cardiac irregularities, hypertension, or hypotension. What is the prognosis of acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy? In acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy, Almost all patients survive and the majority recovers completely after a few weeks to months. What are the clinical findings seen in acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy? The findings of acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy is increase in cerebrospinal fluid protein with normal cell count. So this is the albuminocytologic dislocation. What does high levels of protein lead to? High levels of protein leads to papilledema. What is papilledema? Papilledema is the optic disc swelling that is caused by increase in intracranial pressure. Name some infections that can lead to acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy. The infections that can lead to this includes Campylobacter jejuni and cytomegalovirus. How does infections with Campylobacter jejuni and cytomegalovirus lead to acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy? The reason this happens is due to autoimmune attack of the peripheral myelin due to molecular mimicry, inoculation, and stress, but it does not have a definitive link to these pathogens. Describe the treatment process of acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy. The treatment process includes respiratory support until full recovery along with treatment with plasmapheresis and IV immunoglobulins. What is plasmapheresis? Plasmapheresis is a method of removing blood plasma from the body by withdrawing blood and separating it into plasma and cells and transfusing the cells. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.